and welcome to grade 10 TLE cookery class. So in this video lesson, I am going to discuss with you learning outcome number 4 which pertains to store poultry and game birds. So along with this are the most essential competencies in which the learners are expected to store and maintain poultry and game bird according to standards. Okay, before we proceed with that uh, lesson, let us discuss first proper food storage. So, ano ba yung proper food storage at ang kahalagahan nito? Okay, so meron tayong tinatawag na dry food storage, meron tayong refrigerator storage, at meron din tayong tinatawag na freezer storage. Okay, so pag-usapan natin papaano yung tamang pag imbak using dry food storage. So first, food storage areas should be dry, well ventilated, and adequately lighted. Second, shelves should be raised at least 15 cm or 16 inches above the floor to make cleaning easier. And number three, all food should be kept covered or otherwise protected from contamination. Okay, so magbigay nga kayo sa akin ng halimbawa ng mga pagkain o yung mga goods na kadalasang niimbak using dry food storage. Okay, tama. Yung mga delata at saka yung tinatawag nating mga non-perishable goods o yung mga pagkain na hindi agad nabubulok. Okay, let us discuss refrigerator storage. Okay, so ano ba yung, paano yung tamang pag-imbak ng mga pagkain inside the refrigerator? So, the first one is, do not overcrowd the refrigerator. Swag masikip. Number two, keep refrigerated foods wrapped or covered. So, siguraduhin na may takip o may balot ang anumang pagkain na ilalagay natin sa refrigerator. Number three, Store raw and cook items separately if possible. So, kung malaki naman yung ating refrigerator, uh, paghiwalayin yung luto at saka yung hilaw na pagkain. And then number four, if raw and cooked food must be kept in the same refrigerator, keep cooked foods above raw foods. Okay, kung pagsasamahin sa isang refrigerator ang hilaw at saka lutong pagkain, Uh, siguraduhin na sa gawing itaas ng refrigerator yung luto kaysa sa hilaw na pagkain. Then number five, do not let the bottoms of other containers touch and food. Next, keep shelves in interiors of refrigerators clean. Siyempre kadalasan, kinakailangan nating laging malinis ang loob ng refrigerator. Next, Keep refrigerator doors shut except when removing or putting in foods. Okay, so kinakailangan siguraduhin natin na maayos na nakasara ang ating refrigerator pagkuha natin ng pagkain. Okay, siguraduhin nakasara. Bakit? Para tayo ay makatipid sa kuryente. Okay, be sure your refrigerator is set at the proper Temperature. Okay, siguraduhin tama ang lamig ng inyong refrigerator. Okay, the next one ay tinatawag nating freezer storage. So, ano naman ito? So, yung refrigerator kasi kadalasan may dalawang compartment. Yung freezer at saka yung uh, lower compartment kung tawagin natin ay chiller. Yan. So, pag sinabi natin freezer storage, siya ay talagang freezer. So, nag lang siya. Number one, you have to keep all frozen food tightly wrapped or packaged to prevent freezer burn. Okay, yung mga pagkain na ilalagay sa refrigerator, siguraduhin natin na properly wrapped para maiwasan yung tinatawag natin freezer burn. And then, label and date all items. Kung madami ang pag-iimbak, lagyan ng pangalan, lagyan ng tinatawag natin petsa o date, para malaman natin kung kailan na, kailan natin ito inilagay. And then keep freezer doors closed. Okay. So iyan yung ilan sa mga tips kung paano yung tamang pag-store ng pagkain sa using dry food storage, refrigerator storage and freezer 
storage. Okay, so let us discuss now techniques in storing poultry. Okay, so poultry may be frozen whole in halves, cut into pieces or parts after they are dressed. Part can be packed separately, ready to cook, or for easy meal preparation and towing. Okay, so sa pag natin ng poultry o ng manok, Pag ito yung ating binili, pwede natin itong bilhin na sa whole o pwede natin nakabilhin into halves or ready to, uh, natawag natin ready to cook o yung talagang siya ay nakakat na. So sa pag ng manok, siguraduhin natin na uh, magkakahiwalay na yung mga balot para madali yung tinatawag natin preparation and towing. Okay, poultry spoils very quickly unless it is properly handled and stored. So, madaling mapanis ang mga manok, madali siyang magkaamoy, lalo na siya ay nakakonfine sa isang uh, plastic container at hindi natin siya inilagay sa refrigerator. So, after being brought home from the market, it should be unwrapped as quickly as possible and wiped off with a damp cloth, just like what you see in the picture. Then, it should be lightly covered with wax paper, placed in a shallow utensils and stored in a cold part of the refrigerator near the freezing unit or ice. O yan. So, pagka galing sa baha, pagka galing sa palengke, siguraduhin nalinisan mo na yung manok bago ito ilagay sa freezer. Okay. Cooked poultry should be cold as quickly as possible. Okay, kung ilalagay naman natin sa refrigerator ay yung luto na, uh, siguraduhin na palamig natin ito o ng tama bago ilagay sa refrigerator. Cover to prevent drying and refrigerated. Removing the bone saves space. Frozen poultry must be kept in the freezing unit until it is stored for cooking. Okay, so yung luto na luto na nating poultry o yung mga manok na leftover natin, Pwede natin ilagay sa refrigerator but make sure na ito ay inyong nalagyan ng takip. And then, yun naman mga frozen uh, poultry, dapat lagi lamang siyang nasa freezer o kaya na kailangan natin yung tinatawag nating towing that we are going to discuss later bago natin siya lutuin. Okay. To prepare poultry properly for freezing, it should be wrapped tightly in a moisture vapor fruit film foil or paper, then frozen at negative 170, deg 170 degrees Celsius or 0 degree Fahrenheit or lower. Okay, kung tayo mag ng uh, chicken or poultry sa ating refrigerator o sa ating freezer, uh, siguraduhin na ito ay uh, tightly rough or maayos ang pagkakabalot para maiwasan yung tinatawag nating freezer burn. At a temperature of negative 170 degree Celsius or 0 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. Okay, let us discuss now storing, na, storing time for poultry and game. Okay, so we have the products. We have three columns. The products are refrigerator which is 35 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit and the freezer which is 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, let us uh, start with the chicken and turkey as a whole. Ibig sabihin buo. Okay, inside the refrigerator, 1 to 2 days. But, lalagay sa freezer, it can last for 12 months. Chicken pieces. In the refrigerator is 1 to 2 days. In the freezer is 9 months. Turkey, cut into pieces. 1 to 2 days at the freezer will be 6 months. Duck and goose, whole, 1 to 2 days at the freezer, 6 months. Giblets, okay, 1 to 2 days in the refrigerator at the freezer is 3 to 4 months. Wild duck, peasant, and goose as a whole is 1 to 2 days at the freezer is six months cook poultry dishes in the inside the refrigerator it will last for two to four days in the freezer it will last for four to six months can poultry opened 
and decide the refrigerator one day in the freezer it is not recommended okay so yung mga dilata pag tayo nagbukas ng dilata huwag natin ilalagay sa refrigerator yung lata bakit? kasi nagkakaroon ng chemical reaction na uh, nabubuo yung kalawang simula yung rusting so makakakain tayo ng kalawang so that is not recommended to put them inside the freezer pag ilalagay sa refrigerator it will last for only one day make sure na isinalin sa airtight container okay let us discuss now how to freeze and toad fall tree freezing and towing poultry. So, it is not recommend to refreeze poultry after it has been towed. So, hindi nire-recommend na yung poultry matapos ilagay sa freezer at yellow-yellow ay ibabalik uli sa freezer matapos mong ibabad sa tubig. Freezing and towing releases fluids called drip and the chances of bacterial spoilage are increase. O yun. So, yun ang dahilan. Dumadami yung is, uh, nagmumultiply yung mga bacteria kapag ang manok ay nasa towing process dahil lumalabas yung mga fluids, kaya hindi na siya dapat i-refreeze. Water holding capacity of meat is also affected by subsequent towing. Okay. When towing it is advisable to toad slowly inside the refrigerator to give tissues a better chance to re rehydrate. Immediately cook the toad meat since bacterial growth is rapid upon towing. Okay, so sa kapag ang uh, manok ay galing sa freezer and then kukonsume na natin siya kinabukasan, uh, mas nire-recommend yung tinatawag nating uh, refrigerator towing. Ibig sabihin, from the uh, freezer, ilalagay yung manok at the lower compartment of the refrigerator. For example, uh, bukas, lulutuin na yung chicken sa umaga. So, gayong gabi, uh, ilalagay na sa lower compartment yung uh, chicken na, na, na talaga para lutuin. Ang tawag doon ay refrigerator towing. Okay. So, slow towing may be affected by placing 1 to 2 kg chicken in the refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours or to place it under running water tap for 1 half to 1 hour in their original wrap in both case, cases. However, frozen poultry or any other market forms of poultry should not be allowed to tow or soak in a bowl of water, bowl of water because of possible bacterial Build. Okay, so as I have told you kung ang gagamitin ay yung tinatawag nating refrigerator towing, it should be towed, the frozen uh, meat or the frozen poultry should be towed for 12 to 24 hours. Or kung gagamitin naman natin ay yung sa under running tap water or sa lababo or sa sink ay 1 half to 1 hour. Okay, how to handle the safe, uh, let us discuss now safety practices in handling and storing poultry and game products. Okay, so how to handle chicken safely. So, raw chicken and poultry can carry the salmonella bacteria. Okay, yung salmonella is one that causes food, foodborne illnesses and infection. So, yung ating mga manok, kadalasan sila ay may salmonella. Yung salmonella bacteria ay common na present sa tao. Siya ay nasa mga tissues na ating balat. Halimbawa tayo may sugat, merong mga salmonella. Which is responsible for more cases of food poisoning. As I have told you, salmonella bacteria which is responsible for more cases of food poisoning than any other pathogens. Uh, fortunately, it is easy to avoid getting sick from chicken and poultry as long as you follow safe food handling practices. Okay, so pwede naman natin siyang iwasan sa pamamagitan ng pagsunod dun sa mga safe handling practices. Okay, yung mga hygiene. Okay, safe shopping for chicken and poultry. The first one is during distribution to retail stores, Fresh chicken is kept cold in order to extend its shelf lives as well as to prevent bacterial growth. 
Packages of chicken should feel cold to the touch and should be among the last item you select before checking out. Okay, so habang yung palang pagdidistribute ng karne from farm, from farm to market, kinakailangan na pinapanatili ang malamig na temperatura dun sa Mano. Okay, kapag kayo naman ay pupunta sa grocery at kayo pupunta sa mga supermarket, unahin mo nang bilihin yung mga non-perishable goods, kagaya ng mga dilata at iba pa. At huling bilihin ay yung mga perishable goods, kagaya ng karne. Okay, siya yung mga pinakahuling bibilihin bago tayo umuwi. Okay, Packages of chicken should be wrapped in plastic bags to prevent leakage and to other items in your grocery cart. So, kinakailang maganda ang nakaayos na lagayan yung inyong biniling karne para maiwasan ang tinatawag nating leakage o yung pagtulo ng mga dugo o mga sabaw-sabaw ng karne o fluid dun sa mga ibang food item o ibang ibang item na ating binili. Once you're home, you should immediately place your chicken in a refrigerator that maintains a temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit or colder and use it within 2 days. Otherwise, it should be frozen at 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so pagdating natin sa bahay, i-unwrap ya, natin, lilinisin, and then ilalagay natin sa ating refrigerator with a temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit that will be consumable for 2 days pero kung lalampas, ilagay natin siya sa freezer at 0 degrees Fahrenheit Okay, just like meat, fish, or any animal-based food product raw or undercooked chicken carry certain bacteria this bacteria can cause illness in large Numbers. Okay, kagaya ng nabanggit ko kangina, kagaya ng ibang karneng hilaw, ang manok ay nagtataglay ng mga bakterya. So, kinakailangan natin ng tamang paghandle sa ating mga biniling karne. At mahalaga rin na lagi tayo maguhugas ng kamay pagkatapos humawak sa mga kabinili nating food item. And remember... Freezing doesn't kill bacteria. Either it just makes them cold. The only way to kill to kill foodborne pathogens is by thoroughly cooking the food. Okay, so yung paglalagay natin sa baka freezer, hindi siya nakakapatay ng bacteria. Uh, mamamatay lamang yung bacteria dun sa mga binili nating karne sa pamamagitan ng tamang pagluluto. Okay, another concern with respect to working with uncooked poultry is cross-contamination. Okay, tinatawag natin cross-contamination. Cross-contamination can happen when raw poultry or even just its juices somehow come into contact with other food products. But especially ones that are already cooked or ones that will be eaten raw such as salad, vegetables, or Green. So, kaya mahalaga na hindi dapat naglilik yung plastic na paglalagyan natin ng mm, mga hilaw na karne. Dahil nangyayari yung tinatawag nating cross-contamination. So, ano ba yung tinatawag nating contamination? So, contamination is the unintended presence of harmful substance or microorganism in food. Okay. Unintended presence of harmful substance or microorganism in food. Yan yung tinatawag nating food contamination. Okay, sa nakukuha, yung tinatawag nating cross-contamination. That is the transfer of bacteria from food, hands, utensils, or food preparation surface to a food. Yan, yung tinatawag nating cross-contamination. Halimbawa, malinis nga yung ating binili. Kaso yung ginamit natin, uh, madumi ang ating kamay, hindi tayo nagugas ng kamay, yung utensils, chopping board, uh, kutsilyo na ating ginamit ay hindi malinis, kaya nagkaroon ng tinatawag nating uh, cross-contamination. Okay, so let us discuss the difference between fresh and frozen chicken and poultry. Okay, so madali namang maintindihan, pag sinabi natin fresh, 
It is a term that indicates that it has never been colder than 26 degrees Fahrenheit. Pag sinabi natin fresh, bagong katay, hindi pa nalalagyan ng yelo. Fresh indicates that it has never been colder than 26 degrees Fahrenheit. Pag sinabi naman natin uh, frozen, it is kept at 0 degrees or colder must have a level indicating that it is frozen or previously frozen. Yan. Pag sinabi natin previously frozen ay uh, nalagay na sa freezer. Interestingly, poultry that has been kept at temperatures colder than 26 degrees Fahrenheit but warmer than 0 degrees Fahrenheit can be labeled neither fresh nor frozen. Okay, chicken and poultry product dating. So, pag sinabi natin dating, yung paglalagay na, kung mag sa dilata ay yung tinatawag nating manufacture date at saka yung expiration date. Okay, chicken and poultry product dating. So, federal regulations don't require poultry products to be dated. However, most retailers will date the chicken products that they sell. So, kadalasan sa mga supermarket, may mga nakalagay na kung kailan yung kina, uh, araw ng katay at hanggang kailan lang ito uh, fresh or safe kainin. If they do opt to date the product, regulations do require that there be a phrase signifying whether the date is sell by, date, or a use before, date, and the explanation must appear right next to the date. Just like what you see in the picture. Mas maganda na yung bibilihin nating manok ay naka-indicate yung uh, used before. Kailan dapat ligtas itong kainin. Okay, so uh, pag-aralan naman natin itong diagram. Tingnan niyo yung diagram. Ano yung inyong nakikita sa diagram? Makikita natin yung tinatawag nating purchasing and receiving and then preparing food. Uh, in the preparation of food, meron tinatawag tayong towing, cooking, okay, pagkatapos magluto, uh, pwedeng serving, at yung natira ay yung tinatawag nating reheating. So, ito yung process, ito yung mga processes sa food preparation. So, in every steps of food preparation, you have to follow the following guide, guidelines to keep the food safe. Okay, so kinakailangan nating sundin ang mga sumusunod na guidelines para manatiling ligtas ang ating pagkain. Guidelines to keep the food safe. The first one is clean. So clean, pag sinabi natin clean, wash hands and surfaces open. So kinakailangan nating lagi tayong maghuhugas ng kamay at saka yung surface na ating uh, pinaglulutuan ng pinaghahandaan ng pagkain. Okay, separate. The second one is separate. Do not cross contaminate. Ihiwalay yung karne at saka yung uh, gulay. Halimbawa, gagamit tayo ng chopping board. Dapat maraming chopping board sa bahay. At saka kutsilyo. Uh, ibang chopping board ang ginagamit para sa uh, hilaw na pagkain, kagaya ng karne. At ibang chopping board din ang ginagamit kapag ang hihiwain naman natin ay gulay. Ngayon ang tanong, mga papaano pag iisa ang chopping board, yung isa ang kutsilyo available sa bahay? So make sure na ito ay ating hinugasan. Halimbawa, ginamit natin, uh, hiniwa muna natin na yung mga gulay. Pagkatapos hiwain ng mga gulay, hugasan ang kutsilyo at chopping board, hugasan ng maayos ang kutsilyo at chopping board, and then saka ulit hiwain yung uh, other item na ipiprepare and then hugasan ulit. So, ganun yung uh, tamang pamaraan. Clean and then separate and then cook to proper temperatures. Dapat ay thoroughly cook. Hindi yung uh, half cook. Ang hinagawa lang natin half cook ay gulay. Pero yung karne dapat ay thoroughly cook para namatay yung mga uh, bacteria and other contaminants. Okay, and then chill. So, refrigerate, 
from please. So, ano yung apat na guidelines? We have the three C's and an S. The three C's and an S, meron tayong tinatawag na clean, cook, and chill, and then separate. So, clean, wash hands and surfaces open. Separate, don't cross-contaminate. Uh, cook, cook to proper temperatures, and then chill, refrigerate promptly. Okay, so these are the basics for food handling or ha handling food safely. Basics for handling food safely mula sa shopping, storage, preparation, towing, cooking, serving, leftovers, and refreezing. So ito yung mga tamang pag-handle o tamang pamaraan ng paghahanda ng kung paano natin magiging ligtas yung mga pagkain. Okay, una, yung basics for handling food safely, yung number one is shopping. So, sa pamimili, purchase refrigerated or frozen items after selecting non-perishables. Kagaya na sabi ko kanina, ang bibilhin muna ay non-perishables and then huli yung mga perishables items. And then, never you choose meat or poultry in packaging that is torn or leaking. So, piliing mabuti, huwag pipili ng mga packaging na sira na ang packaging. And then, do not buy food without expiration date. So, huwag bibili ng hindi nakasulat ang expiration date. Okay, so, another reminders. All foods served in a food service established must come from an approved source. Yan, yung mga tinatawag nating branding o mayroong mga brand name. So, food service establishment should work with their suppliers to ensure the foods they are using meet the food safety standards. So, kukuha dapat ay doon sa mga kilalang dealer. And then, temperature and time are the two most important factors to control. Okay. How about storage? The second base, uh, 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 the second one is yung dinatawag nating storage. So, always refrigerate perishable food within 2 hours. Yung mga nabubulok o yung madaling masirang pagkain, dapat pagkadating sa bahay, within 2 hours. After shopping, ay 2 hours ay dapat ay nasa loob na na refrigerator. Or 1 hour when the temperature is above 90 degrees, Fahrenheit. And then check the temperature of your refrigerator and freezer with an appliance thermometer. The refrigerator should be 40 degrees or below and the freezer at 0 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Yan. Yeah. So, sa pag store na pagkain, siguraduhin na sa tamang temperature yung ating refrigerator. Pwede naman natin ilagay sa loob at make sure nakakaunti ang laman. Pero kung marami ang laman ng refrigerator, Dapat ito ay nasa high. Okay, cook or freeze fresh poultry, fish, ground meat, and variety meats within 2 days. Other beef, veal, lamb, or pork within 3 to 5 days. Okay, so yung isda, yung manok, yung giniling na karne, ay lalagay natin sa refrigerator consumable within uh, 2 days. Kung ito naman ay karning baka or pork, pwedeng 3 to 5 days. Perishable foods such as meat and poultry should be wrapped securely to maintain quality and prevent meat juices from getting onto other foods. Sabi ko nga ay tightly wrap para maiwasan yung tinatawag nating freezer burn. Okay. To maintain quality when freezing meat and poultry in its original package, Wrap the package again with foil or plastic wrap that is recommended for the freezer. Okay, mas maganda kung dudoblihan ng plastic kung ilalagay natin sa freezer. In general, high acid canned foods such as tomatoes, grapefruits, and pineapple can be stored on the shelves for 12 to 18 months. Okay, so yun ang mga ibang mga pagkain na mga hindi ay yung mga tinatawag nating non-perishables yung mga delata, tatagal ng uh, 12 to 18 months. Okay. So, yung low 
acid canned foods such as meat, poultry, fish, and most vegetables will keep 2 to 5 years. If the can remains in good condition and has been stored in a cool, clean, and dry place, discard cans that are dented, leaking, bulging, and rusted. Okay, so yung mga low acid, uh, tatagal siya ng 2 to 5 years. Pero titignan nyo pa rin ang expiration date. Kahit sinabing 2 to 5 years, eh kung yun namang binili ninyo ay matagal lang na manufactured, so madali na siyang masira. You have to discard cans that are dented, leaking, bulging, and rusted. Yung mga kinakalawang. Okay, let us discuss the next, yung tinatawag natin, preparation. Always wash hands with warm water and soap for 20 seconds before and after handling food. So, napakahalaga ngayon ng palagi at tamang paghuhugas ng kamay, lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemic. So, lagi tayo maghuhugas ng kamay every time na tayo ay uh, hawak ng pagkain o yung nararamdaman nating madumi na ang ating kamay o may nahawakan tayong madumi ay lagi tayong maghuhugas ng kamay para maiwasan natin yung mga viruses and then another don't cross contaminate keep raw meat poultry, fish and other juice away from other food after cutting raw meat, wash cutting boards, utensils, and countertops with hot soapy water. Yan. Sinasabi ko kanina, do not cross, contaminate. Kapag ginamit na natin ang sangkalan sa mga hilaw na pagkain, make sure ito ay ating huhugasan ng mabuti. Okay. When preparing food, be sure to wash your hands before preparing food. Kitchen towels, sponge, and cloths can harbor can harbor bacteria. So, wash them open and re replace sponge every few weeks. Okay, so mahalaga rin na uh, nilalabahan yung mga basahan o yung mga tawilet na ginagamit natin sa kusina at saka tayo nagpapalit din ng tinatawag nating sponge o mga scrubbing foam. Keep raw meat, poultry, and fish and their juices away from other food. Yan. Okay. Cutting boards, utensils, and countertops can be sanitized by using a solution of 1 tablespoon of unscented liquid, chlorine, bleach, and 1 gallon of water. Okay. So, pwede tayong gumamit mga disinfectant dahil isang kutsaritang chlorine o di kayo sunrox, ilalagay natin sa isang galon na tubig para i-disinfect yung ating mga uh, surfaces na ginagamit sa food preparation. And then yung marinated meat and poultry and covered dish in the refrigerator. So, laging tata, laging mayroong balot o nakabalot na mabuti yung ating mga marinated meat and poultry. So, let us discuss next yung tinatawag nating towing. Ano ba yung tinatawag nating towing? yung pagtatanggal ng yelo. So, di ba? Nilagay natin sa freezer. So, nag-yelo yung ating karne. So, bago natin lutuin, inaalis muna natin yung yelo, yung sa preparation, uh, sa pamamagitan ng towing. At meron tayong tatlong pamamaraan ng towing. Tinatawag natin refrigerator towing, meron tayong tinatawag na cold water towing, and then microwave towing. Okay, so, refrigerator towing. The refrigerator allows slow and safe towing. Make sure towing meat and poultry juices do not drip onto other food. Okay, so, sabi ko nga, ang bawa kinabukasan lutu lulutuin, uh, ngayong gabi pa lang, ilalagay na natin sa lower part ng ating refrigerator, yung karne, pero uh, siguraduhin na yung juices, syempre magtutubig yun ay huwag hindi dapat makakaapekto o mapapapunta dun sa ibang mga food item. Lagyan natin siya ng salalayan. Okay. The second type of towing, yung tinatawag natin cold water. Paano yung cold water? 
For faster towing, place food in a leak-proof plastic bag, submerge in a cold tap water, and then change the water every 30 minutes. Cook immediately after towing. Nilalagay na naman natin sa yan, sa tumutulong gripo. O di kaya ibababad natin sa sa tubig. Pero mas maganda na ito ay in a plastic wrap or nakabalot. Sabi nga ay, bakit wala nang lasa yung ating nilu uh, isda? Ano ba wa isda? Eh, kasi hinayaang nakababad lang sa tubig. So, nawala na yung parang nawawala na lasa yung pagkain. So, dapat naka-plastic wrap and then sa kalamang isasubmerge sa tubig. And then, meron tayong tinatawag na microwave towing. Cook meat and poultry immediately after microwave towing. So, ginagamit na naman natin ng microwave. Okay, so, uh, ito yung tatlong humara ng towing. Yung una ay to foods in the refrigerator, under running water, and then number three, in a microwave oven. Okay, let us uh, discuss the next procedure which is cooking. Yan, yung tamang pagluluto. You have to cook all raw poultry, beef, pork, lamb, and veal steaks, chops, and roast a minimum internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit as measured with a food thermometer. Galdo kainit at 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Anong ginagamit? Yung tinatawag nating food thermometer. Uh, for safety and quality, allow meat to rest for at least 3 minutes before carving or consuming for reasons of personal preferences. Consumer may choose to cook meat to higher temperature. So, depende pa rin sa gusto na consumer. So, pwede na yung 145 degrees Fahrenheit, pero kung ang in-request lang yung customer or ng consumers ay higher temperature, Pwede namang ilagay sa higher temperature gamit yung pinatawag nating food thermometer. Okay, sa poultry, you have to cook all poultry to an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit as measured with a food thermometer. So, sa poultry, kadalasan ang ginagamit natin ay 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, use... A meat thermometer to ensure that meat and poultry are cooked to appropriate temperature. Ano daw gagamitin? Gagamit tayo ng tinatawag na food thermometer. So, if you prepare and cook food ahead of time, divide large number of portions into small, shallow containers and refrigerate. Okay, halimbawa, maramihan yung ating niluto. Hindi e, naman uh, consumable. Kasi kakunti naman. Halimbawa, kakunti ang miyembro ng pamilya. Tapos maraming niluto. For example, halimbawa, niluto ng chicken adobo, madami. So, ilalagay natin in a shallow and small containers. At ang atin lamang i-consume, ilalagay ay yung consumable. Okay, in serving food, yung next procedure or tinatawag natin serving or pag, uh, paghain ng pagkain. So, hot food should be held at 140 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer. And then, cold food should be held at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. Sabi ko nga, hot food should be served hot and cold food should be served a temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. So, when serving food at a buffet, keep food hot with chaffing dishes, slow cookers, and warming tray. So, siguraduhin laging may takip yung mga pagkain isinserve na mainit. Halimbawa yung mga soup. So, dapat it should be served hot. So, kinakailangan na ito ay may takip. Keep food cold by nesting dishes and bowls Bowls of ice or use small serving trays and replace them open. Halimbawa, yung mga malalamig, kagaya ng ice cream. So, ilalagay natin siya sa uh, malamig na, na, na container o malamig na compartment para mapanatili malamig. Perishable food should do not be left out more than 2 hours at a room 
temperature. Okay, so yung mga madaling masirang pagkain, hindi dapat hayaan na sa room temperature uh, when the temperature is above 90 degrees Fahrenheit ng lampas ng dalawang oras. So, wag hahayaang nakahain lamang. Okay, never leave perishable food and refrigerate for more than 2 hours. And then, always use clean dishes and utensils to serve food, not those you use to prepare the food. Siyempre, kinakailangan laging malinis ang dishes at iba pang utensils pag tayo ay magsiserve na pagkain. And then, avoid touching the food contact surfaces of glasses, cups, plates, or tableware. Okay, so iwasan nyo natin mahawakan yung surface o yung uh, labi ng baso, yung uh, uh, kutsara at tinidor. Okay, paano naman yung dinatawag natin uh, leftovers o yung mga sobra o tiraterang pagkain. So, discard any food left out of room temperature for more than 2 hours. So, yung mga tira-tira na hindi natin nilagay sa rep pag more than 2 hours at ito ay medyo nangangamoy panis na, we have to discard them. Uh, place food into shallow containers and immediately put in the refrigerator or freezer for rapid cooling. Okay, so kung wala nang kakain at may mga natira pa, may mga nasobra, huwag yung natira. May nasobrang pagkain, ilagay sa refrigerator for immediate cooling. And then, cook. Use cook leftovers within 4 days. Salimbawa, nilagay natin sa refrigerator. Dapat you have to consume them within 4 days. Pag uh, lumampas, you have to discard them. Re reheat leftovers to 165 degrees. Fahrenheit. Reheat. Ibig sabihin, iinitin at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Yung parang nagluto ka ng bago. So, ganun. Ganun, kataga, ganun yung tamang temperature o yung tamang init. So, pag sinabi natin reheating, reheating food, reheating is the thermal process to heat food that have been previously cooked and cold in a food service establishment. So, hindi naman masamang mag-init ng pagkain. Just make sure na yung in yung pag-iinit ay nasa tamang temperature. When food is held cold and reheated, reheated there is an increased uh, risk from contamination caused by personal equipment, procedures, and other factors. So, once na na-reheat na yung pagkain, wag na natin ibabalik sa refrigerator. Kailangan na natin itong ibubusin or i-discard na natin. Okay, the next one is yung dinatawag natin refreezing. Refreezing meat and poultry defrost in the refrigerator may be refrozen before or after cooking. If thawed by other methods, cook before refreezing. Okay, so yung pagala, pagbabalik sa rep. Kapag ito ay atin ng itinode, siguraduhin na ito ay atin na lulutuin. Okay, so kung halimbawa, niluto na, and then hindi mo naman kukonsume agad, pwede mo naman ulit siya ilagay ulit sa Freezer. Yung tinatawag natin re-freezing. Freezing, nagagaling sa freezer, etinode, niluto, hindi agad ikukonsume, ibinalik sa refrigerator o sa freezer, ang tawag doon ay re-freezing. Okay, so do you have any questions about learning outcome number 4? So learning outcome number 4 is all about store poultry and game birds. So, ano nga yung four processes or four guidelines na mahalaga? Yung tinatawag natin four C's. Isa-isahin. You have to clean, cook, chill, and then separate. Meron din tayong tinatawag na mga basic preparation bago lutuin ang pagkain. Magsisimula saan? Tinatawag natin Shopping, storage, preparation, towing, cooking, serving, leftovers, and refreezing. So, ano yung natanda sa shopping? Uh, kinakailang ito ay bibilhin sa kilalang uh, retailer o kung saan na binili. Siguraduhin malinis sa storage. Meron tayong tatlong pamamara ng storage. Ano-ano yung mga iyon? Ah, uh, 
Itatawag nating dry food storage, refrigerator storage, tsaka yung freezer storage. Okay, sa preparation, mahalagang mahalaga yung tinatawag nating don't cross contaminate. Sa towing, may tatlong pamamaraan ng towing. Ano-ano? You have a refrigerator towing. You have under running water using tap water and then microwave towing. Sa pagluluto, kinakailangan at 165 degrees Fahrenheit or uh, hotter or warmer. Sa pagsaserve, hmm, hot food should be served hot and cold food should be served cold. Sa leftovers, Uh, i-discard natin pag ito ay more than 2 hours na na in room temperature and then pwede natin ilagay sa refrigerator ilagay sa closely tight container and then yung tinatawag natin refreezing okay so bakit mahalaga yung tinatawag natin uh, tawang pamaraan ng uh, handling food safely why do we need Uh, to follow the basics for handling food safely. So, kinakailangan nating sundin para maiwasan yung tinatawag nating outbreak ng tinatawag na mga food, uh, illnesses, and foodborne infection. Okay, so do you have questions? Okay, let us go to your evaluation. So, for your evaluation, You may use your activity sheets with you if you have your activity sheets. Uh, if, but if you have not, you may write your answer in a clean sheet of pad paper. So, are you ready for your evaluation? Okay. Activity 1, ang tawag natin dito ay complete the table. Complete the table. The products are given. Um... You have the refrigerator and then the freezer. You are going to fill in yung duration. Pwede yung product, yung duration sa refrigerator and then sa freezer. Okay, number one is ang given ay chicken and turkey. Ang missing ay a refrigerator. Inside the refrigerator, how long is the duration? Chicken pieces, number two. Inside the refrigerator, it will last for one to two days. In the freezer, it is number two. Number three, the missing is the product. Inside the refrigerator, you have one to two days. The freezer, you have six months. Duck or goose. Inside the refrigerator, you have one to two days. In the inside the freezer, you have number four. Okay, number five, the missing is the product. It will last inside the refrigerator for 1 to 2 days. Inside the freezer, it's 3 to 4 months. Number 6, the given is the canned poultry opened. Inside the refrigerator, it will last for number 6. And then for the freezer, that is not recommended. For your activity number 2, is true or false you are going to put a check if the statement is correct and put an X if it is incorrect true or false using a check or a cross number, uh, number seven. do not buy food without expiration dates do not buy food without expiration dates number eight Purchase refrigerated or frozen items after selecting non-perishables. Purchase refrigerated or frozen items after selecting non-perishables. Number nine, cook or freeze fresh poultry, fish, ground meats, and variety meats within two days or other beef, beef, lamb, or pork within three to five days. Days. Number 10. Always wash hands with warm water and soap 
for 20 seconds before and after handling food. Number 11, marinate meat and poultry in a covered dish in a refrigerator. Marinate meat and poultry in a covered dish in the refrigerator. Next, number 12, choose meat or poultry in packaging that is torn or liquid. Choose meat or poultry in packaging that is torn or liquid. Number 13, do not cook meat and poultry immediately after microwave towing. Do not cook meat and poultry immediately after microwave towing. Number 14, cold food should be held at 140 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer. Cold food should be held at 140 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer. Number 15, hot food should be held at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. Hot food should be held at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. Number 16, use cooked leftovers within 7 days. Cook yeah, use cook leftovers within 7 days. Okay, for your activity number 3, this will be recorded under performance task. Follow the 4 5 5 guidelines to keep the food safe. So, meron tayong 4 guidelines to keep the food safe. All you have to do is to fill in the box with the appropriate statement fill in the box with the proper prep guidelines or statement the first one is clean the second one is separate the third box is for cook and then the last box is for chill so that is uh, all, all about 20 items 20 items for your evaluation are you done with your evaluation? Okay, so congratulations. Uh, you did a great job. You finished co learning competency about poultry and game bird dishes from, from learning outcome to one to learning outcome number four. Once again, this is Mom Odeline and now you're ready for your uh, quarter four. This is Mom Odeline saying, keep safe. Thank you for watching.